go Miss Miller. No, you will never think of Miss Miller. And that's why the vaxxers, the anti-vaxxers employ security. You're listening to Skeptoid Shorts. I'm Brian Dunning from Skeptoid.com. This is where you all go, yay! yay! Wind turbines, the Cuisinarts of the skies. A main argument against wind turbines by environmentalists is that the spinning blades kill birds. When I heard this, I was skeptical, if you can imagine that. Digging through the inner tubes, I found that it's true. Each large commercial wind turbine in the United States kills an average of about two birds per year. This varies a lot based on where the wind farm is. Some are right in bird migration paths and some aren't. But the average is about two per year per turbine. In 2001, there were 3,500 operational wind turbines in the U.S. for a grand total of 6,400 birds killed. Sounds like a lot, I suppose, but I wanted to know how many birds died from other man-made causes. Here are those numbers based on the most common annual estimates I found. Window collisions, one billion. <laughs> Power line collisions, 174 million. Hunting, 100 million. House cats, 100 million. Pesticides, 67 million. Automobile collisions, 60 million. Somebody tells, needs to tell them to wear their seatbelts. <laughs> Communication towers, 40 million. Oil extraction, one million. I have no idea how they're getting killed by oil extraction. And wind turbines, 6,400, which is 0.0004% of the total. But the granddaddy of human-caused bird population decline is habitat destruction. Numbers are not available, but it's said to dwarf the causes listed above. But even that pales in comparison to natural bird deaths. About one-third of all birds die in collisions with natural objects, like rocks, trees, or the ground. <laughs> Most of these are young birds learning to fly. However, simply that almost all birds are killed by other causes doesn't justify the incremental increase imposed by wind turbines. The entire argument is a non sequitur, technically speaking, but it's not completely irrelevant in that it does put the issue into proper perspective. It doesn't even address the ongoing death toll to birds from particulate air pollution caused by coal and oil burning power plants, which is what we're left with when alternative energy sources are taken off the table for environmental reasons. I couldn't find a number for this, but I'll wager it's at least as much as it is for humans. As many as 100,000 people die each year in the United States alone from particulate air pollution from coal and oil burning power plants. I don't know how many humans are killed by the environmental effects of wind turbines, but I think it's safe to say the number is lower. This has been a Skeptoid Short. I'm Brian Dunning from Skeptoid.com. And again, you go, yay!